But the logical direction for us to go was over the horizon where those individuals had disappeared. The man leading a donkey and the, it looked like a woman and that she may have been pregnant. And God forbid, God help that poor woman be pregnant in a time like this, bearing a child into this world. But needless to say, uh, the shepherds, and the other, my companions, my fellow shepherds and I, we made a beeline in that direction, the eastern, eastern direction, uh, over that horizon where those individuals disappeared. And as we got to the, the ridge, uh, we looked down, there was a little hill, and we looked down and it was, like, it was as if um, the moon had, had concentrated all its light on this this manger scene, you had um, you had a manger out in the middle of this field, um, and there he was the there was a man and there was a woman, and they were looking into this manger, and as if it was as if there was a glow coming from this manger. So as we got closer, we could see more defined. There was a baby in this manger. A little child. Uh, it couldn't have been more than a couple of hours old. And uh, there was no cry. Uh, it was like there was a peace. There was a serenity about that, that circle. So we gathered, uh, my fellow shepherds and I, we gathered around that, uh, that scene, uh, this man. He looked like a carpenter. His hands were rough, like a carpenter's hands. Um, the woman was very young, and the donkey was sitting there just nice and quiet, and uh, we stared at this baby, this baby lying in the manger. And I said to myself, is this the savior of the world, a child? And the, the husband, of course, he had a smile on his face. And uh, the mother, she was peaceful and she was at rest. But she was looking at this child, pondering, as if she was pondering in her heart what this child will become. And she related the story to us. As if we were to believe it, that um, this child was spawned by the Holy Spirit, and you know, <laughs> I don't, you know, it was a, a new baby, and there was a lot of, uh, you know, it's it's a, you know, we've seen lambs come into the world, and uh, and uh, but this was a child coming into the world and uh, in a time like this and usually uh, it's not a very gentle experience but this woman who was this, is a, had this child uh, and two hours later and uh, the father and the mother were both uh, gazing at this child in wonder as if uh, this child had come down from heaven. And now I know that this was the same child, this was the same boy that grew to become a man. I asked the woman what his name was. And she said, the angel told her, you will name him Jesus. Was this the same Jesus? that they crucified on a cross? Is this what this child came into this world for? I would not have known that unless on the day of Pentecost there were 120 people gathered on the day of Pentecost and there was something like a mighty wind blowing in that room. There was no wind blowing physically, but it was the sound. 
And people started speaking in strange tongues, and I understood because they were speaking in my native language. And I understood what they were saying. They were saying, this is the one. This is the Messiah. This is the King of Israel. And the Holy Spirit was given to us by Him. And I... I was so convicted to hear that he had been crucified. He died for my sin. He came into this world to die for my sin. Why? He didn't have to. But there was one of the disciples who talked to me at some one point. His name was John. And he said, the religious leader came to Jesus at night. It was, it was in the evening. His name was Nicodemus. And I, he said that Jesus told him something very strange. He said, unless you are born again, you will not see the kingdom of God. How can you be born again when you're an old man, he's, Nicodemus said. Well, Jesus said, that which is flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit. So we must be born of the Spirit. And that day on Pentecost, I was born of the Spirit. The Spirit of God descended upon me, and then I understood who this baby is, who this baby was. And that's why I had to talk to you. But it wasn't you that found me. God brought you to me. Thank you, Dr. Luke. Please write this down. Do not miss a detail. And I just hope and I pray that my testimony here will help others come to know that this Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. And believing in Him, He gives us the right to become the children of God. Even to those who have never seen His face, but believe on His name. For there is no other name under heaven whereby we must be saved.